Hi, I'm Jeff Baxter, and I'm going to show you how to quickly create a constellation inside of SDK. So here we've got the satellite already created in our scenario, and we're going to use the walker tool to create our constellation of satellites. So the way that you do that is you input the number of satellites per plane and the number of planes. In this case, we'll do a super quick scenario and just do three by three. We'll create a constellation of satellites called uh, MySats. And we can click the Create Walker button. And this will create our constellation of satellites based on the original satellite that was already in there. So it will take that initial orbit and those general characteristics for altitude and inclination. And then it will create multiple satellites in the number of orbit planes that are evenly spaced throughout that orbit and uh, throughout the, the RAND spreading that you've selected in the Walker tool. And this is a very powerful tool for quickly building constellations. This is, can also be applied to mega constellations. In this case, we're just doing three by three, so it's only nine satellites. You can see this, cat, this constellation here that is uh, created as a result. It's not quite a mega constellation, but it, it shows the idea of how to quickly create constellations if you wanted to create a mega constellation. So again, we're going to be using that Walker tool to design that satellite. But in this case, we're going to build more satellites. So let's do 10 satellites per plane. And let's just, for now, just look at, at three number of planes. So this would create a, a constellation of 30 satellites. So certainly a fairly large constellation, but not necessarily a mega constellation. Uh, but just to show you kind of how the process works, there's no Im limitations on the number of satellites or the number of planes you put in here. STK will still calculate the resulting constellation. You'll be able to visualize that constellation, perform the same access calculations to individual targets, to group targets, or a different regions of interest, or even global coverage. All right, so now it looks like our constellation was just created. What we can do is we can close the Walker tool now and view our new constellation. So here in the 3D graphics window, you can rotate around. You can kind of get a sense of the overall geometry of the constellation. And same thing in the 2D graphics window. And of course, you can always animate through the scenario to see as the satellites are orbiting the Earth, what kind of coverage they're providing. You get a good sense of the overall feel of the constellation. Um, and then, of course, you can then use that chain object to compute all of the access times from all of your sensors to all of your targets. So I'm going to add over my sensors. And then I can use my chain object here, which has my sensors looking at which targets I can see. And now I can go into my uh, report and graph manager and I can look at either the, the global complete chain access or I can look at individual accesses throughout the chain. And as you can see, there's a lot of data here. I'll go ahead and zoom in on this just a little bit into the report. You can see each of these access times listed here from each of the sensors to each of the targets. And all of those access intervals are now computed. Even though there's lots of satellites and lots of targets, the calculations happen very quickly. You can create summary reports that tell you the overall time to each target, or you can look at each individual sensor to each individual target, however you would like to report the data and understand the impacts of your constellation.